ClickUp is absolutely killing it right now. Recently coming out with Docs 3.0 and fresh off a staggering Series 3 funding of 400 million US dollars, this app seems like it can do no wrong. At this week's ClickUp Level Up conference, they announced a brand new whiteboard view that very well may get them one step closer to becoming a collaborative tool and the all-in-one workspace for companies and individuals alike. Oh, ClickUp. One of these days, you're gonna make me think about switching from Notion to you, and I don't wanna admit it, but it's true. It's a pretty good app, we gotta say. What is going on, guys? My name is Dimitri, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna talk about the ClickUp whiteboard view, but before we dive into that, if you could please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all of my latest videos, I'd really appreciate it. Let's jump right into what this view is all about. So if we dive right into click up, we can see that there are multiple different views that I have for this example task management action item section. And if we want to make a new whiteboard view, we can press view right here. And you'll see at the bottom, one of the page view options is going to be whiteboard. So we can add this view, we can pin it if we want. But if, when we press add, we'll, no case, we'll notice that whiteboards are free for all plans during beta. And this is a time period where everyone's going to have the ability to use it. We'll see whether it's uh, something that's going to be stay on the free plan moving forward but when we go and we look in this we can see that there is a few different ways we can move around so first and foremost it's set to the select version so if we press v uh, or have it be on this cursor by toggling between these two we have the select option then if we click this or press m we can move the whiteboard around now you won't really see anything because i don't have anything set up but we have a lot of different options that are going to be utilized here and if we see there are draw shapes notes text connectors bookmark upload and tasks and i'm going to dive into the basic ones and then do a few of the final ones in a second but first and foremost if we go draw we have different color options different thicknesses there it's some very basic functionality but not bad at all so i can put a uh, plan or something obviously this is not going to be perfect and it might be better to just use the text option so that's how you can draw though very basic stuff uh there's a few colors to choose from and and some thicknesses and whatnot then if we go into the text option just really quick you can do plan for videos i'm not really seeing any major options for this it's it's pretty basic it's just literally text does not seem like we can expand this there's no options to if i right click on this yeah nothing happens it's very basic text stuff right here so one kind of font one kind of size uh, and then if we go into the shapes here we can automatically drop a square and put some text in there example video here uh, we could also do some different ones there's going to be options for circles and then uh, there's going to be triangles and, and whatnot. So I think what's nice to point out is the fact that you can change the size of these. And that's good. Unlike with the text, you can't really, can't really seem to do that. And you can do that also with your drawings. I could do this. And then I could also delete various components of the drawing. Uh, when we do click on this, we can type something here. And then... Uh, some other examples I got. So there's a bookmark. So if we take it embed URL, so if it goes to like the podcast show, so we got uh, the Rice Productive Podcast website here. If we go press add, then we take this bookmark and it'll be right here. So we have a bookmark here. Can't change the size of this guy either from what I can tell. Um, but you can click on this and it'll lead you to the URL outside of ClickUp. And then there are the upload options. So from what I can tell, there are no stock photos or different images that you can use. So you, you got to like pick something. So if I go into my podcast brand assets, let me go to this guy. Okay, we can take images here and we could put this right next to the embed of this. So there are a little bit of limitations regarding this whiteboard in comparison to other types like Miro where they have a bunch of stock images and whatnot and, and different things you can put in there. So, I mean, eh, decent functionality in that regard, but it's, it's nice nonetheless to have something where you can upload things. And then if we move on to the next part, which is probably one of the bigger ones, it's the fact that we have uh, tasks. So if I press design new logos here, 
Uh, once again, it, it does have the issue of, oh, sorry, I clicked into this. So you can obviously click into the tasks here, but if I exit out of it, uh, as you can see, it you can expand by clicking into that. You can expand by clicking on it. You can see where it's lying under, what space it's in, what uh, different task views is under, uh, whether it's uh, complete or not, you can check that off. So I can take these tasks and drag them, but if I click on them and, and don't drag them, it'll just give you the option to double click and go into the task. So you have to click off of them to then drag them again. There's no options to make the sizing change as is the same with uh, a lot of these other things like the bookmarks and whatnot. So we have a fair amount of functionality here and I like the fact that you can take some of these tasks and put them in there. So for example, say you wanna take, let me do the select tool, Let's take this uh, and we wanna have it align with design new logos or something like that. And put it right here, move these away. Uh, we move this here, then we take this, and we have this sort of view of what, what our like process is. So then what's interesting is there's something called connectors. So I'm gonna spread these out a little bit more. Okay, so if we take connectors here, we're theoretically able to connect these together, but they're a little finicky from what I've been seeing on the interwebs. So we have to do a little different kind of thing than what makes sense. So if we take this guy, this is the same symbol as like clickups relations and, and rollups or whatever, but it's not gonna show this symbol. So we have to do it without it showing the symbol, which I don't really like, but it's nice to have them in general. So then when we press on this, we can change the color of these, change the thickness. Uh, we have the ability to change it to a squiggly line, or I guess just a curved line, and then a uh, normal straight line. And then these things connect uh, the different steps of the process. So you can kind of visualize what's going on here. Like, okay, so design, uh, this is like our website, design new logos. Obviously there's better examples for this, but I just wanted to show the functionality. And now you see that it it's impressive that it has this functionality in general. Notion doesn't have this. It's moving in the right direction. It's got a lot of nice things. And if this improves, since it's just in beta, I could see this being a pretty solid application uh, for, for work use. I mean, Microsoft just had their uh, improvements on their whiteboard and this could be something that says, hey, Microsoft, sorry, but our stuff's pretty great too. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the new ClickUp whiteboard. If you wanna see any more of my videos, on different productivity apps and ClickUp, please make sure to hit the end screens. And without further ado, I'm gonna end this video and say goodbye because it was a good video and we're done, we're done with the thing.